very good evening. <sighs> I had to cut that other bit short so I could get the other bit in. Um, but there you go, it is <laughs> nine o'clock. Uh, it's actually nine and 20 seconds. And it is the sixth, is it the sixth? Yes, the sixth of August, 2013. We've got a fair bit coming up. We're going to be looking at uh, this, which is the smock SID. And those eagle-eyed amongst you might notice a slight difference in that. Yes, uh, I've got a little bit of a video from Mr. Andy Sutton um, from yesterday. It's been doing the rounds today, but I've got that. And a bit of news and show of yours and a nice look at the smock SID later on. But all that, all that has to be after the titles. So, let's run them. The scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evade, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e -liquid. Yes, it's that time of the week again. It's Tuesday and it's me and it's Vapor Scene. Hello, hope everyone's okay. Hello chat, I did say hello to chat uh, in the pre-show, but hello again. Yes, my little royal wave. <laughs> oh dear, we have got, uh, like I said, a fair bit coming up. Uh, we're gonna look at the smock seed a little bit later. In fact, in the second half, um, I've been using that for some time uh, and like I said, the eagle-eyed amongst you may well notice something about it, um, but then you might not. Yes, we'll have to wait and see for the bit of VT in the second half, and then uh, you can tell me if you noticed it or not. Um, but let's start with a bit of news. And um, this was around on Sunday about Jason, Jason Cropper, who was attacked in his home, uh, and they stole his Range Rover, um, gave him a good beating, uh, and uh, robbed his house. Uh, and the Vape Charles TV thing's just over an advert, because they didn't want to advertise for the advert that was on there. Um, but how bad is that? How bad is that? Someone breaks into your house and beats you up and nicks all your stuff. Um, it, I've seen a lot of comments on the forums, um, all nice comments, if you like. Um, let's hope they catch the perpetrators and they don't, uh, they don't keep on their little merry way um, terrorising people and breaking at their houses and stuff because it's not a nice thing, not a nice thing at all. Um, so not good, so uh, I hope everything's uh, getting sorted Jason. Uh, secondly, I saw this as well, um, this was tweeted at the weekend, um, an e-cigarette explodes and sparks a small fire. Now I do have the video and if we have time I'll put it on later but it is uh, available on the old Twitter feed. Um, and it does seem very much like user error and misinformation because the lady concerned charged her e-cig with a non-specified charger. So obviously it would have been given it uh, probably too much juice um, and, and caused it to fail. Um, so what can I say? Uh, you need to use the, uh, the charges that are designed for your particular e-cigs. Uh, and if anyone tells you any different, don't listen to them. <laughs> you need one that's the right voltage, the right milliamps, because um, if it's too high, they're going to fail. Uh, as will a laptop battery, as will a battery in another device if you use the wrong charger or you give it too much voltage. So, you know, we can't read too much into this story and say, well, you know, it was a, a terrible thing and an e-cig blew up. Well, yeah, batteries do blow up. Uh, if they're not used in the way that they were designed to. Um, so, uh, yes, there you go. Anyway, those two stories. There's loads of other things. I mean, th there were so many Twitter, <laughs> Twitter tweets earlier. It's difficult to catch up. Um, but also the petition, the online petition, if you go to the UK Vapors uh, website, the forum, uh, there is a link to the petition. And there's just about 5,000 names on it at the moment, uh, which is probably half of the 
populace of the forum, uh, and certainly nowhere near the 1.3 million vapors in this country. So please pass it on and get people to put their name to it and get as many people on that as, uh, as possible. There's still plenty of time to uh, sign up for that, but have a look at the UK Vapors uh, website. There's a link on there and on the other forums. Um, okay, let's look at Andy's bit of vid uh, from yesterday. He was on the road. He was visiting eSig Wizard, went to see Ben, uh, and I do believe he's down the road tomorrow as well. And it was going to pop in and see me, but we didn't really have time to catch up. Um, so here it is. See you in a minute. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Andy here. I'm on the road with Swaff, and I'm in a hotel. And if you look behind this curtain, you will see it's dark. It's night time. And the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice also that that's Tamworth, home of Vape Fest. I'm here tomorrow, I'm here today, tonight, but tomorrow I'm filming um, a, an MEP who is quite supportive of electronic cigarettes and uh, we're going to have a chat. So that's tomorrow's video. Today was eSig Wizard, I was in Peterborough and um, I bought some stuff from the eSig Wizard shop. That, a Tesla, one of their disposables and a starter kit. <laughs> and um, I'm going to show the MEP these devices tomorrow and he can have a look at them and clearly see that they don't necessarily all like cigarettes. I'm also going to, um, I've got loads of questions for him. I'm going to grill him and um, see what he says. Um, I've also picked up some stickers, some eSigs Save Live stickers which I'm going to give to him. So uh, yeah, there we go. That's what's happening. That's what's occurring. On the laptop, you will see Ben from EC Wizard. Interviewed him for about an hour today. Gave me a tour of the impressive warehouse and the whole setup there. Met the whole team. Lovely bunch. And um, pressing on. Um, I'm, I've got everything I need to edit the video. I've just had a pizza. I've got a Coca-Cola over there. I don't have to meet the MEP until midday tomorrow. So I'm going to keep going into the night working on this video. So then, by the time I get back home on Friday, it should be ready to go up. Anyway, so that's the plan. Uh, I had a couple of interesting emails. Um, I will be, and um, another crew as well, will be at Vape Fest. Not this weekend coming, but next weekend. So that's good. Uh, two crews, and we will also be having a video booth, which people who attend can go in and vent their spleen about the situation. I just figured with 2,000 people at the Vape Fest, it was a good opportunity to, you know, some people when you ask them to be interviewed, they, they get a bit nervous and they don't want to be seen doing it. So what we've done is we're gonna provide a soundproof photo booth, basically. So you can go in there and say whatever you want, get it off your chest, and you can either direct it to your MEP and we will then forward it onto them or we'll put a video together of everybody's thoughts and it's going to be great. So if you're planning to come to Tamworth and planning to go to the Vape Fest, that video booth is there to use and abuse all day. So if you have a thought or if you have a question for an MEP or you want to make you get your point across, dive in the booth and get it done. Um, and then we'll get the footage, put it all together and then make it available to everybody on YouTube so that's the plan that's the plan I also had confirmation from a doctor today I'm going to interview a doctor over the next sort of week week and a half so that's good um, I've also there was a video posted on Vimeo a couple of days ago that had some great people talking in it and the people who released that video have given Swaff permission to use that video so that's also very positive some great stuff was said in that video it also shows that um, our fight is getting out there to the wider sphere. So yes, so there we go. Um, I've got to charge some batteries, both for the camera and for my e-cig. So this is Andy in Tamworth, 
signing off. Good night. Yes, Andy in Tamworth. And that music at the beginning uh, was very, um, very Mexican, wasn't it? It kind of made me feel like I want to go to Mexico. <laughs> I'd love to. But it's not going to happen. Not in the next couple of weeks anyway. However, I am going somewhere else. Where could that be, I wonder? Oh yes, vape fest, and it's there. No, it's here, look. 10 hours, 10 days, three hours, 47 minutes, and 35 seconds. <laughs> That's gonna be up now, this week and next, I think, yes. And uh, counting down the time until it is vape fest time. And uh, I'm going down on the Friday, I'll be there till the Sunday. Andy will be there, Dave Kay will be there, Gary Dibley will be there, and no doubt, loads of other people and if we can get 2,000 people and if we can get at least half of those through the little video booth putting their messages out that would be so cool and it would obviously provide so much more footage um, for the the big documentary type piece that Andy is doing so there will be lots of cameras down there doing lots of things and I'm looking forward to it immensely oh yes right we better move on because uh, oh, I'm going over already, but there you go. It's because I waffle. So let's look at this week's uh, show as yours. Why not? Coming at you. And now it's time for show as yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK.
show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, that was this week's show is yours gallery, and there were some uh, rather interesting ones um, of some holy men over in India. And uh, I'll show you those in a little bit more detail maybe next week. Uh, and this week's winner is uh, Simon Hodge. There you go. Uh, and he sent me that picture there of his Minos Mini and UDAGI. So well done, Simon. I'll send an email after the show and I'll tell you how you get your juice. And if you would like to win some juice, looking for the right button to press, you know what to do. Email to vaporseen at vaportrails.tv by 12 noon on Tuesdays and I will do my best to get you into the mix of that week. Okay, let's nip into the ads and when we come back we're going to look at the smock Sid. So, uh, that picture. I'll see you in two minutes. <laughs> Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health E Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And we are back in the studio with the countdown clock. <laughs> okay, we're going to go into the uh, bit of VT I did um, about the smock SID. And let's see who notices the difference in what I've just showed you. <laughs> I'll fill you in after the bit of vid. See you in a minute. Last week I showed you the smock 3.5mm tank. The Pyrex tank, the new one, uh, and I have it today on the SID, which I mentioned last week. Um, and we're going to take a closer look at that a little bit later on in the show. Um, we're going to look a little bit more in detail about exactly what it does. But it is a variable voltage, variable wattage device. Uh, this is the 18350 model and it is available in 18500 and also in 18650. Uh, and it's quite Quite diddy, isn't it? Quite diddy indeed. Uh, and I've been using it for some time, and I've been using it today in the car um, with the smock tank. And you can see, 
that it does produce um, a heck of a lot of vapor. I've got it currently set at 10 watts output um, and I will show you each uh, menu item back in the studio shortly uh, and we'll go through each of the options. Um, but it's a very light device even with the tank on it's extremely light and you'd expect that from something um, that only has a small battery in it um, like the 18350 because obviously they don't weigh very much at all. Uh, the uh, 18 650s weigh about 50 grams, something like that. Um, I'll put this on the scales so you can see exactly how much it does weigh. Um, but it's not stainless steel, it's another type of metal with a coating on um, and um, it is quite light. And with a smaller device on, it'd be even uh, even diddier, really. Nicely stealthable, if you like. Um, but I have to say, I am rather enjoying the use of. Hmm. And this is still the um, Ice Age that I mentioned on Tuesday's show. I refilled my tank with some more. Uh, and once this is gone, I'm going to give it a good clean out and put something in which actually um, could normally affect uh, a polycarbonate tank. Um, so I might put some fire and ice or even some uh, banana um, because banana doesn't like polycarbonate very much. Um, but Pyrex loves banana. <laughs> so let's go back to the studio and take a nice long look at the smock sid. And here we have the SID from Smock. Uh, this is uh, an 18350 model. There is 18350, 18500, and also 18650 models of this. And this particular one is the 18350 in silver. So we'll just take it out. And there it is. Oh yes, OLED screen, one button, uh, and it also has a removable collar there. Um, so we'll just take that out, show you the individual parts, one removable collar, it's 510 threaded and also ego threaded, we'll put that back on again, and the only other part that comes off is the bottom section for the battery, and that comes off thus. There we go, reasonably hard spring in the bottom, and there is your battery container. Uh, and this particular one, as I mentioned, takes one of these, an 18350. Uh, and this one is an ICR 18350, it's 3.7 volt, 900 milliamp. Uh, I've got a couple of these, uh, and that's the only ones I've got, I haven't got any other ones. So it goes in, plus side up, and you'll notice when I plug it in, it will say smock on the screen and that tells you that it is in fact turned on. There we go. Very similar to a lot of other devices uh, like the Provari where you have one button and it's multiple clicks of that button in order to uh, look at each menu choice. The menu choices or the options are contained in the instruction booklet that comes with it and here we go gives you everything that you need to know relatively small writing but it is uh, quite easy to read and digest let us do it that way for you the uh, camera is not going to like it too much because it's uh, small but there you go um, it is a variable wattage and variable voltage uh, and the menu changes depending on what you have it set at. So to get into the menu it's three clicks and the first thing you come to is wattage up. If you then do four clicks you get wattage down. The third one is out on off. Now out on off is output on off. You can't actually turn this device off. There isn't a kind of a three click or five click on the button to turn it on or off. But what you can do 
is turn off the output to the 510 connection. Um, so it just won't fire if it's in your pocket. The only other way of turning it off completely is to take the battery out. Uh, so if we go back in and do three clicks, and then one, two, three, the next option is battery voltage, and that will tell you what the voltage of your battery is. Again, one, two, three, four, gives you LCD display, and that is either on or off. So you could save some battery power by uh, keeping the screen off when you're vaping. So three clicks again, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. This option gives you wattage or voltage. And with each option, once you've clicked on it, it will change to either a yes, no, on, off, uh, and you then get about three seconds to make that change on the screen and then leave the screen, go blank, and then that is then set. So if we go back in and go all the way down to what is your voltage. So it's saying what is now. I've now changed it to voltage. Screen goes blank. So if I do three clicks of this button now, it will give me the first option will be voltage up. So that has changed to voltage up. And if we look at the other options, LCD display, voltage, resistance, battery, and it just cycles through those. So if we go to resistance, that is now set. When you press your fire button, it comes up at 9.9 .9 because there's nothing attached to this end. So let me grab hold of the tank, smock tank that I showed you last week, which is about two ohms, I believe, off the top of my head. So now if I press the fire button, it gives us the resistance of 2.2 .2 ohms. And if I just put the drip tip in, we have a bit of vapour. So now to change the voltage, three clicks, voltage up, it's currently three, and it goes up in 0.1 of a volt increment all the way up to six volts. As you can see. And then as usual, cycles back through to three. So if I put this at four volts, leave the screen to go blank, that is now set. And now we are vaping at four volts. To change it back to wattage, three clicks, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. The screen says voltage, change that to wattage, let the screen go blank, that is now set to wattage. So your first two options, when you press your button three times, will now be wattage up and wattage down. and we're currently at six watts. This goes up in 0 0.5 increments. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, all the way down to three, and then cycles through. And about 10 watts is nice for this. Screen goes blank, that is now set at 10 watts. <laughs> and you can see there is uh, plenty vapour. And as you saw in the car, um, plenty vapour comes from this. It's a diddy little unit, I have to say. Um, is there a market for 18350 size mods? I think there more than likely is. Uh, the SVD can be 18350 or 18650. All the telescopic mods can be 18350 or 18650 or the 18500s. Um, so for a small device, um, I think 
it is not bad. Now, I know Callum is selling this on his site at Healthy Vapes, uh, and it's uh, Healthy Vape, I should say, and it's $39.99, um, which ain't that bad, really. Uh, if you're wanting the, the, the bigger option, of course, then you can go for the 18650 size. Um, but uh, for a nice, small, compact little mod that you can uh, change the voltage or the wattage on, not too bad at all. Uh, and I should be using this at Vapefest in a couple of weeks, no doubt, um, because I need to have my usual flavours with me, of course, um, but also... A, a little dripper so I can test all the juices that are going to be available. Um, so there you go. That is, let me zoom out for you slightly, that is the um, the SID. And it's the SID Mini, really, um, from Healthy Vape. $39.99, not a bad price, uh, and not a bad little device. Uh, and it's really, I mean, you could call it a poor man's Provari because it does what a Provari does. Uh, as do a lot of the variable voltage, variable wattage devices these days. So there you go. Let's go back to the studio and um, see it more in action. And it's back to me, and I'm already over time because I waffled at the beginning of the show. Um, but I did find something out um, this afternoon, actually. If I go back to my device cam, you will see the tube on the top is the tube that came with the SID and it actually does come off and the strange thing is looking at chat while that was going on is that uh, someone mentioned about it being like an EVIC well what I have on there is the EVIC tube oh yes and it looks exactly the same color the same metal uh, and everything so I've actually got an 18650 battery in there uh, and not the 18350. So um, if you have an EVIC um, and you have got what I have, which is the, the second set of stainless steel modded tubes, uh, you can always use the EVIC tube on the SID. Yeah, there you go. Um, let me just grab it and my squeaky chair and just drop, drop everything. There we go, come on out of shot. Um, and I have, I've got an EVOD on there. Um, and. Uh, Mm. Chop mint, very nice. Yes, seven and a half watts currently on that. But um, you can see, if I show you what it would be like, that's how would it, it would be like, and that's how it is with the Evic tube, and it looks like it was painted at the same time. So uh, there you go. The bottom battery screw on bit at the bottom. What we're going to call that, I don't know. Um, doesn't quite go all the way because it's slightly too big with the 18650, but only very slightly. So I'd have no problems uh, with uh, taking that as it is with the 18650, or as I had it with the 18350. Um, cracking little device, I have to say. So thanks for Callum for sending me that. Um, I am way, way, way over. And in about 11 minutes, 11 minutes, it's going to be this.
Yes, indeed, DE Talk follows in 10 minutes now. Uh, but if you are not a German speaker and you want to continue the fun, head over to RY4 Radio because Rob Taylor is broadcasting from Malta this evening. Um, and that will be at 10 o'clock, I do believe. Now, the rest of the week, tomorrow, we have the next edition looking for my little trail that I've got here somewhere. There it is. We've got the little, a little show that the guys are putting on while Dave's away. And it looks a little bit like this. Right. Oh, All I can hear is Sav. Yeah. <laughs> well, I talk a lot. I'm sorry. Oh, welcome to the Here's How I Forgot the second half of that sentence. I got to have a word. <laughs> I forgot how to continue. <laughs> yeah, the Here's How sponsored by Safe Six. Have we still got viewers? Ooh. Yeah, we've got 87 currently watching. I've got 88. Yeah, I've got 88. Yeah, I did. Uh, someone's not she watching. She's not watching that. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. I was looking at the rug screen. <laughs> yes, indeed. Tomorrow night, uh, while Dave's away, the team are going to be doing team talk. And Thursday, it's going to be the hazy hour with our very own Gary Dibley. I am so over time, I'm going to be shot and hit around the head most severely. Um, so... <laughs> Have a good week. I will see you um, next week on Tuesday for the final edition of Vapor Scene before Vape Fest. Oh yes. See you next week. Ta-ta. Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.